Speed bump this weekend, Jim. Okay, construction is cruising right along on the 81 Viaduct project. One big traffic change related to it opening this week. It's meant to make driving easier and safer, but it may take some getting used to. News Channel Lines Ashley Cafaro helps us get around it. At Syracuse's first ever roundabout. I absolutely hate it. I think it's a waste of money, this whole issue, this whole thing. It's just a waste. And it's already getting mixed reviews. I don't really like it. I think it's very confusing. Confusing for many central New Yorkers who are used to seeing a traffic light at East Brighton Avenue and the Interstate 481 off-ramp. All of the construction that's been going on in general, I just... It's been more of a hassle than anything, honestly. A big change to the traffic pattern, but not everyone is against it. Najwa Webster knows all about roundabouts after getting a first-hand experience while going to college on the West Coast. They were one-lane roundabouts, easy for us to get around campus. So when I saw it here, I was like, okay. And she isn't the only one keeping an open mind. I'm kind of used to them being English, um, and I can see some Americans struggling and some congestion, but uh, yeah, given the size of the junction, I think it's probably appropriate. But not everyone has come around to it just yet. That's why we decided to help you get up to speed. When you get to the roundabout, yield for any oncoming traffic. Once traffic is clear, enter the circle and keep going around. Do not stop until you get to your exit. If we can get around, so can you. I think as long as people are diligent and open to experiencing something new, we'll be fine. Staying optimistic as Central New Yorkers navigate the first of many roundabouts coming our way. In Syracuse, Ashley Cavaro, News Channel 9. Good demo. Thanks, Ashley. Crosswalks, flashing lights, directional signage, those are also going to still be added. That work expected to be completed by 2025.